Hello guys! It looks nice, isn't it? I hope you don't mind the background. So this is the TVS XL100. Let me walk you through. Starting from the rear, you have there the daylights. There. And this is the footrest for the pillion rider. For the driver. You have uh, the side stand, the center stand. The uh, chain, the drive chain is all covered. It's made of plastic. The suspension here, the dual shock. So, and this is also adjustable. So right now, it's set at the soft test setting, but nonetheless, it's still hard. Uh, so this is the tire 16 inch wheel, and you probably notice that the spokes are a bit bigger because this bike is designed to carry loads. You have here the muffler, which is uh, covered uh, for safety protection for safety and it's chain driven brake drum here at the rear and going forward so this is the uh, starter kick and what else um, yeah so this is the tow compartment um, and for some other stuff like your registration by the way the Seat is removable, so I have it removed now, and it reveals another place, uh, another area to put your load. And going into the engine, so it's a 100cc, it says they're automatic. What it actually means is it is single speed, and the clutch is centrifugal, so once you put gas on it, um, it will engage the clutch and it will move the bike. So you have here the cooling pan. It sucks the air from outside and pushes into this duct here and into the engine and it cools the engine. So it says there it's 100cc. It has uh, 4 liters of fuel and the reserve is 1.3 liters. Um, you have here the steering lock and uh, the fork. I like the suspension, it's covered so it keeps the dirt away. And it's also dream, uh, drum brake in the front. This is the speedometer cable sensor. Um, it's also 16 inch at the front. You have here the horn. The lights are, I believe, all incandescent or halogen. I'm not really sure. Um, so this is a very simple bike. You have flat bottom here. So you can put stuff there like a scooter. And... Uh, you have for the steering bar uh, on the left is the um, headlight switch so that's off it's on and high and low and then you have here the turn switch so left and right you have the horn here and the chalk lever so this one here is for the rear brake and to the right you have the gas and the lever for the front so instrument cluster is very simple so you only have speedometer and um, odometer there turn light indicator and the high beam indicator and you have the switch here so this unit doesn't have a battery so it doesn't have any power so a little more view on the engine so oil is uh, um, 900 cc so a little over a little less uh, a liter and let's uh, view the engine yeah it's air cooled and here's the spark plug right here okay okay so this is where the air intake is so the air cleaner so for maintenance um, you can remove it by Moving these two screws here, both sides, and to open the box, uh, you need to remove all the screws. You'll probably ask, how's the power? So it's rated at 4.3 brake horsepower, which is not that much. But the torque is actually quite good at 6.5 newton meter. And I've tried this uh, climbing uphill from basement parking, no problem. Uh, loaded with uh, a pillion rider, no problem, and some stuff, no problem. So it's quite practical. And 
the great value about this is really the price. So a, a scooter, for example, a 110 cc or 125 will set you back at least 60,000 or 65,000 pesos upwards. But this one is less than that. So we bought this, including registration for 32,000 pesos. 30,000 for the unit and almost uh, 2,000 pesos for the registration. And uh, in terms of fuel economy, it says that uh, this is 67 kilometer per liter. So far, I've seen it about 45, which is not bad because we just drive for short. And what about the speed? So it's rated at max of uh, 60. Uh, since still under break in, I haven't uh, reached that yet. So yeah, it can easily reach it uh, very quickly. And overtaking in city driving is not bad. Of course, uh, this is not really for highway. Uh, the max speed is uh, 60. So another good stuff about this bike is it doesn't have a battery. Actually, it's a good thing and a bad thing. So one is that bad is that it has no electric start. But the good is you don't need to replace the battery. And it's quite uh, very easy to start. Even in the morning, in cold, um, you don't even need to choke the engine. And it will start uh, very easily. So now let's uh, see how the engine sounds. So yeah, there you go guys. So the TVS XL100, it's very practical. It's really great value for money. Uh, people, for example, in India, they put lo loads and loads of stuff in the, in the bike. And it's really, uh, I'm very happy with it. And it's also a good learner for kids that are uh, learning to ride a bike for the first time because it's very easy. It doesn't have uh, anything. It doesn't have, uh, you know, a transmission there. Um, you just uh, press and go. And like a scooter. So, hope this video has been helpful to you. If you have any questions, uh, let me know. Thank you. Bye-bye. Yeah, I think I forgot to mention that it has uh, hooks there to put uh, straps like this. Yeah. To secure the load. It has uh, two, four, six. Yeah. Thank you.